This is the extended version of what does my financial future look like? Hello, I'm Avalon Kisby and welcome to my YouTube channel where I try and do an expansion and add value and more information on the very short TikToks that I get to do. Um, so welcome. If this is something that you feel that you might enjoy, I invite you to follow as I do try and add here daily. So for the card pull, if you want to go see that, the shuffle and the pull, then you can go see that over on my TikTok. But what came out with the Oracle cards are Passionate, Divine Protection and Transformation. With the actual Tarot cards, we have the bottom of the deck as the Four of Wands. We have the Death card, the Magician, Justice, Seven of Pentacles and Two of Swords. This really is a beautiful reading. The overall energy for me is suggesting that this is your time. If there has been something that you know you feel like you've been held back on, or if there's some sort of project that you've been trying to work on, now it's it's really, really your time. Let's go and have a look at these oracle cards here for you. What it's saying about your financial future is that there is a major transformation that's gonna happen in the next little while. You are divinely protected on this. This very much feels like something that is destined for you, specifically for you. This is something to do with your passion, some sort of passion project. This could be entrepreneurship, a business idea, um, and then actually putting it um, into fruition. Now, what it feels like with the tarot cards coming out the way that they did, it feels like there's a bit of a story here feels like at some point in time there may have either been a partial ending or a full ending to a business of some kind a business or a project or something that kind of stagnated your financial growth interestingly enough the death card is if you look it up, if you were to Google it, one of the main words that it would talk about is a transformation. So whatever this ending was, it is really just pushing you forward for this next part of the journey. It's going to propel it in a different, slightly different way that is going to create a lot of financial success for you. There may have even been sabotage from others around you on this particular business plan. I really get that this is mainly for like entrepreneurs and um you know, or, or someone who has like a really good business plan that they are, are thinking of doing. Now, it is coming up that this is your time and that you are absolutely divinely protected. Where there might have been sabotage or any obstacles in the way, it feels like that path has been cleared. And then the two of blades here, the two of swords, very much representing this divine protection. Do you see how the swords are crossed here to protect the flowers from behind from peeking through? It's like it to me, it feels like angels are walking in front of you with their flaming swords and creating your path. And also there are angels from behind protecting you, protecting your back from others. This is also a card to me that sometimes indicates keeping your plans a little bit more to yourself, not really sharing too many details as you're moving forward. The next card that we looked at was uh, the Justice card. Again, I'm very much feeling like this is your time. If there has been any, like I say, obstacles in the path, um, then it is this is the Justice card saying that that is about to change for you. Okay, Justice card sometimes talks about um, making things legal. So there could be a legal um, legalities involved with this. But if we look at this card together, do you see how it's divided in half? Half is the cerebral cortex, the brain, and then half here is the heart. The heart very much indicating the passion, the drive behind this. I always tell people, whatever it is that you're passionate about, those are your breadcrumbs to your success. That is something that that is your gift. Your passions are your gifts. We all have them in a slightly different uh, variety so that we can all come together and, 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 and share that with each other. OK, so this is this is something that's going to propel you forward. 
I'm also seeing this as potentially some sort of partnership. Do you see that there could be one of you has the passion, one of you has the brains, and then together this combination is deadly. It's it's wonderful. This is then clarified here with the with the four of wands, which is known as the eleven eleven card. Again, card of um, talking about new things and new beginnings. It can also be cards of partnerships. Um, often in a love reading, this will be seen as a divine counterpart. We have many different types of soulmates. Some of them are platonic. So we could be pairing up with a soulmate to create some sort of business. This could also be, you know, a partnership in um, that is very much a, a love connection and creating something together that that forms a lot of financial uh, abundance. This is also talking about the four corners of the home. That's what they're usually the pillars are standing straight up and it, it you can represent, you know, the four corners of the home. It could be talking about business expansion, moving into some sort of new building, new sort of uh, premises for you, but definitely something to do with expansion. Now, as I've mentioned before, it definitely feels like this is something that you have been trying to manifest and it may have taken a long period of time here with the seven of pentacles. There's a seed. There's a seed that you have either planted from the past or that you have been thinking about for a very long time. And now this is this is your sign that it's maybe time to start that for you. Um, it feels very aligned. Now, this path, for those of you who have already started down this path, like I say, it may have taken and it feels like it's taken an age. This might have actually been years in the making to get you to this point. Um, Maybe you've been put off your path a couple of times. You know, sometimes we are tested. I'm looking here at the Nine of Rods, which is sitting right at the bottom of the deck. And then there's the Fool right underneath it. We'll come to those in a moment. But there may have been some real hard obstacles that you've had to go through. Do you see how these rods, they've got like, they remind me of needles. You know, when you get the eye of the needle here. And you might have had to go through an, a whole bunch of challenges and sabotage and feeling let down and all sorts of things and um and, and actually do you see that these little flowers are um daffodils or narcissi so there could have been some some unkind people that have you know somehow put obstacles in your way anyway going back to this card here Although this card sometimes takes a long time to manifest, once it starts growing, so it takes a long time when that seed is in the ground and you see no movement, you don't know if there's going to be any growth, but then when it does start sprouting, it's like Jack and the Beanstalk, and it takes off so fast, and that's where we are right now. We're at this stage where it's going to take off so fast. The seed has the seed has already popped its head through the ground and it's it's ready. And the lovely thing about this particular card is it says not only is one of your manifestations coming, it creates this it creates this chain of events that sets off all sorts of your other manifestations happening too. And here we go, we have the magician. You are a master manifester, so never doubt that. There is something eternal here that um, is destined for you with this. Let's have a look. We have the fool underneath this, okay? So there is a new journey. This can also be, be a card of travel. So it could also be sort of something going global. Let's do, um, let's do shuffling of some cards and see what else comes up. Let's put all of these back in and see for the viewer, please. For my YouTube family, what do they need to know, please, about their financial future? What do they need to know? I feel like this is very inspired, something particular to you, and it will bring much abundance. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have the Eight of Rods, we have the World in Reverse, we have the Page of blades in reverse and we have the four of pentacles in reverse. I'm going to turn them this way up so you can see it. This is because it's now time. 
you've had this time to think about this. The case of the Page of Blades is talking, you can see, it's an idea that you've been given. Um, it very much ties in. I was going to show you the. I was going to I was going to show you the justice card, but it very much ties in with with the logical side of the brain. You've you've been given this time to think about it. Now it's time to act upon it. Okay. Um, again, with the world card, it's saying it's now your time. You know, one door closes in order for something else to open. It's that that door is now open for you, ready to leap through. The Four of Pentacles, this again, do you remember when I said that I feel like you should maybe keep things to yourself a little bit, um, not share everything because, you know, not everybody is always happy for other people to have success. There's jealousy, there's competition, there's all sorts of things. So, you know, keep keep this to yourself, but soon, soon is it, you're going to be your time and it's all going to come out in the open, everything. This is just saying, keep it close to your chest right now. Spirit, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know, please, about the financial future? Okay, it's very inspired. We have the hanged man at the bottom. I really do feel like there, there has been a pause in this. Something that kept you feeling stuck, and it could have actually been your own your own mindset. This is coming to an end. People are going to look, look, look at this face. People, people's jaws are going to drop at the success that you're going to have. Okay. Especially those ones who tried to, to sabotage you in some way or to deflect you. But this is something that you are, it is meant for you. You're connected to the divine. It's something that you, you are going to be sharing with the world here. We have the judgment card and then we have the world card in the upright position. Yeah, absolutely. This judgment card is sometimes self-judgment. Being hard on yourself and, and, and keeping yourself in that mindset perhaps of, can I do this? Is this really for me? Is this my imagination? Going to have to trust yourself, guys. It's, it's you know, there's, there's an opportunity here for you with the world card. And uh, so listen, listen to your own intuition when it comes in. Okay, let's just pull one more card, please. Well, also with the world card, I'm getting, I'm getting that doors are going to open for you again, like all around the world. Things could happen on a global level for you, for those that are at that stage. For others who are not quite at that stage, um, this is where it will lead to. There, there will be global recognition. For many of you, there could be, you could be influencers, you could do TikToks. You could do, you know, you're, you're going you're gonna to have downloads of information on how you're to expand this business. There's going to be a lot of expansion for you. So one more card, please, Spirit, for in regards to financial future. One more card, please. Oh, well, two more. Two popped out. And it's the same cards again. You're being inspired to do something and not to hold yourself back on this with this judgment card. Okay, what can we say? I'm going to put these other cards back in. Look, we have divinely guided at the bottom of the deck. You are absolutely divinely guided on this path. Some people stop themselves from fear. You just have to go with it. Okay, Spirit, last message. Last message for the viewer in regards to their financial look there's a portal opening that's what i was saying it's your time now three cards have come out intuitive again and inner work so if there's any judgment around this just do your inner work try and figure out what it is that's stopping you from doing this because this is this is divinely guided you are intuitive these two cards match the moon is talking about intuition and that world card that just came out that was a portal opening this is your time Okay, that's what portals are. Okay. Sending each of you so much love. I know that on this on this YouTube family, we have so many gifted, talented, beautiful YouTube family. And I just want you all to be as successful as you possibly can and to share your gifts with others. So follow, like I've said before, follow the breadcrumbs of your passion and share that. And that's where your abundance is going to come from. And it's never going to feel like work. It's always going to feel like fun.